Hi, this is Julie with Beataholic, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to finish off your loom piece, so actually remove it from the loom, and add a slider end clasp to it. So these are by Beatalon, and they're really great. So you see they've got this little channel right here, and that's what we're going to slide over the last row of our beads in our loom piece. So to begin with, you want to make sure your loom piece is finished. So I've woven in all my little hanging threads, and we actually have another video showing you how to do that. And you also want to make sure that on each end you've added one extra row that's going to get covered. So it doesn't really matter what color pattern that extra last row is. We're going to just slide this guy right over it. So to remove your beadwork, I know this is always a scary part, but just cut it off of the loom. And then we're going to do that on this side too. And we can go ahead and get rid of our loom at this time. So you want to make sure that you have enough inches of thread on each side to be able to tie knots with it comfortably. So the technique that I'm going to show you is going to work with any piece of loom work. You have all these ends left over, which is a lot of the traditional looms you find on the market, not just the jewel loom that I was using for this piece. So what we're going to do, and I have my little loom needle here, which actually helps me to pick out my threads. So you're going to take the end two threads and you're going to tie them together in a knot. So we're just going to do a simple overhand knot to begin with and pull it down to the bead. And now we're going to go back and do a surgeon's knot. So we're going to go through it twice and pull that down towards the bead. Now, you might end up with some kind of unsightly knot. Don't worry about it. They're all going to just be covered up by the slider end. So now we're going to go and isolate the two next threads and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to tie them together. And then that surgeon's knot again. Okay, so now we've got two different units of two threads that have been tied together. So a total of four threads. So now we're going to grab those four threads and we're going to tie them together. And again, that surgeon's knot for the second knot. Okay, and pull that down. And that is what I'm going to call basically one unit. So now we're going to do the exact same thing with the next four threads. So let's see if I can isolate these so it's a little bit easier to look at. So these are the next four. So let me pick up these two that are closest together. And I'm going to do the same thing. And these two. Now be careful not to pull too tight. You see I'm pulling that knot right down to the bead, but I'm not pulling super tight because I don't want to cause any warping in here. And now let's tie these guys together. Lost a thread in there somewhere. Okay. You do just have to be a little bit patient with this. It is a process, but it ends with a really nice finished look and a nice way of securing your loom work so that you know that your beads are going to be really secure and be able to put up with quite a bit of wear, which is really nice. Okay. 
So there we have another unit done. So this is what we've got so far. So here these guys are all tied together. These guys are tied together and we've got these remaining eight warp threads because we had 16 warps for this particular bracelet design. So I'm just going to continue doing that. So I'm going to go all the way here. So I'm eventually going to end up with essentially four big knots on each end. And then I will show you what to do from there. I've tied all my knots and you see they're quite unruly. They actually remind me of a Looney Tune character's hair. Um, so what we're going to do to finish this guy is we're going to take a couple post-it notes and we're going to lay them out just a little bit short of the actual length of our bracelet. And we're going to set these guys this onto it. And in order to add the glue to our knots, which is what we want to do, we're going to take some tape and we're going to tape these strands down because we don't want them getting in our way when we're trying to add a little bit of glue. We're going to do that on both sides. So just pull all those strands back. So you have a really nice, clear view of your knots. And we're gonna use some E6000 glue, which is a really great glue. It's very multi-purpose. So now we're just gonna take a toothpick and we are going to put glue on top of our knots right up near the beads. And I'm just pressing the glue into it. I'm not using a huge amount of glue, but I am covering that knot and really kind of scraping my toothpick over my threads. And I'm even, like I said, touching up against my beads a little bit. Okay, so let's do the other side. I love this technique because I think it's a really nice way of finishing loom pieces. The whole process of doing a loom piece is super soothing, I love it. So now that I know of a really clean and easy way to finish it off, it's nice and it's encouraging for making more loom pieces. At least that's what I've found because I never really knew how to finish off a loom piece in a way that would look clean and elegant and was pretty simple to do because other traditional methods are taking all these different warp threads and weaving them back in, which is a lot and can be kind of impossible too at some point if you have a little bit of a wider piece. So I've put glue on all my knots. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna let that glue dry for a good 10 to 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be completely dry, but you want it to be where it's not wet when you start to work with your ends. Separate out your clasp ends. So cool thing about this is it is an adjustable clasp. So you have some nice length here to be able to adjust your bracelet. And we're gonna take one side at a time to do this. But first, we're gonna pull off our tape. You can just discard that. And now we're gonna trim our threads. So we're gonna trim it up close to the knots, making sure we don't actually cut a knot. Okay, we're going to do that on both sides. Okay. And you'll see that this well is actually pretty nice and big, which is allowing us to not only easily slide in that last row of beads, but also all these knots. And we're going to want to add some glue though first. I don't know if the glue is really a necessary addition at this point, but I figure why not. So I'm just going to take my toothpick and put some in the base here. And I'm actually going all the way down to the bottom and I'm just smearing it inside. Now you're going to take the clasp, holding it like this so that little slot is facing your beadwork, and you're going to slide it between the last two rows of beads so that you're sliding it over the very last row and over your knots. 
You're just going to keep sliding, keep sliding until they are all inside there. And now you're going to take a little bit more glue, go into that well. And now I'll just grab a post it so I don't do it on my nice fabric here. You're just going to use a little bit of pressure to close this tab. And there we go. Now these little ends are sticking out. I should have probably corrected those a little bit more before I closed it, but I can just tuck them in. So one side is done. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side and then this piece will be finished. Like I said, I really love the look of these. It's so clean. Now a note of caution is if you put too much glue, it can start to kind of spill out any hole or any opening. So that's just something to be aware of. Okay, same thing over here. And then just use a little bit of pressure. It doesn't take a lot. You don't have to be very strong to do this. There we go. We are done. And we have a finished loom piece. Now, if you are interested in this particular pattern, this is an exclusive Beta Holly kit where you get just everything you need to make this whole bracelet. Um, I did show this example here, but if you'd like to actually have this as an addition to your jewelry collection, you can find this as an exclusive Beta Holly kit, but you can use this with any other loom piece as well, the same technique. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on how to finish off your loom work and add these really pretty beetle on slider ends.